Thanks, Joss. Lawmakers will be deciding if they want to repeal the state's ban on stun guns, also known as electric guns. The legislator behind the proposal tells us Hawaii is one of only two states where a person is not allowed to have one. Sarah Madison joins us with more. Sarah? That's right, Joe. Now imagine grandpa or grandma owning an electric gun. That's what some lawmakers are proposing, saying it's another way for people to defend themselves, especially the elderly. There are many types of electric guns, and under this measure, it includes stun guns and the type that shoot out electrical prongs. A person would be required to go through a training and certification process. And the idea is it's a non-lethal form of self-defense that people can have with them on the street and protect against crime. We, we think it might be especially useful in preventing crimes against elders. Those who have felonies or a history of violence would not be able to own an electric gun if this measure passes. Some criminals already have them and they don't, you know, they don't, they're not constrained by this law. So this law will not prevent, uh, will not allow criminals to get them. This allows, uh, you know, regular citizens to defend themselves against the criminals. Now, under the proposal, electric guns do not have to be registered like firearms. But Senator Rudiman says that he's open to the idea. Sarah Madison. KHON2 News reporting, working for Hawaii.